Hey guys, it's Abby. Um, this is my first tutorial I'm doing on my tutorial channel. Um, I was kind of debating whether to use my voice in these tutorials or just like do little text boxes. I don't really like my voice so I don't know if I'm going to continue using my voice in my tutorials but whatever, I'm trying it out. Okay, so I got a request to show how I um, remove background music from my episodes, so I'm doing it today for you guys. Um, and this is not my original tutorial. I actually got these settings from, I think it was either, I think it was X Silver Tutorials. That's where I got the, these uh, settings from, but she uploaded that video a long time ago, so I guess this is like an updated one. Okay, so the program I use is called Windows Converter, but it's also called, um, you can see right here, XVID for PSP 6.0. There's different versions, like um, I just got this computer not, not that long ago, so I uploaded the wrong version at first, and I couldn't figure out how to get my original settings, so I went back and found the version I had on my old computer so I have the 6.0 version and it's free I will link it in the description for you guys to remove background music um, you have to use MKV episodes and those are usually the 720p or 1080p web DL episodes those are the ones I use for editing because they have amazing quality and they are easiest for me to edit with. They're very smooth on the timeline and everything so I like to use those and you have to have an MKV file to remove background music. I don't know why but that's how it is so you're gonna have to get those. You can get them just from torrent sites. So once you have your episode I have mine right here. I'm gonna drag it just copy these settings right here. You can uncheck the subtitle one. I don't you don't need that. So just copy these. Again, these are not my settings. I got them from another tutorial channel. I don't know why, but on this computer, um on my old on my old computer, I would check the first one and the AAC. But for some reason, when I try to convert it, the program shuts down. I don't know why it does that, but it works when I check the second or third one but it does basically the same thing so I don't know why except the only difference is that when um, I delete different tracks in Sony Vegas I'll show you you'll see what I mean okay so I'm just gonna convert it okay so when it is done you will get this box just click OK okay so open Sony Vegas and import it. Let me see. Okay, so once you have imported your episode, drag it to the timeline, and you will see that it has like six audio tracks. So what you need to do is delete all of them except one. Um, on mine, the track that has all the voices is the second one. <clears throat> but for you guys, I think it'll be the, the top one. So delete five of these tracks. So I'm going to delete the top one. This one has the audio, the voiceovers. I'm going to delete these last four. Okay, so you are left with one track. And I'm not going to play it on here, but you will see that if you play it, it gets rid of almost all of the background music. Sometimes you can still hear it a little bit, but it makes a huge difference. So if you have another tutorial request, you can message me, comment below, or send me an ask on my Ask.fm. Alright guys, I hope I helped. See you guys later.